Hi there people, welcome back to another quick video looking at Nokia stock. So Nokia, in the past day or so, well it has been quite flat. Of course we are in the earlier part of today's session, but so far we are down by about 0.3%. Looking at the past 5 days, yes we are seeing a big drop actually, if we can get a percentage on it, it is around 3.4%. But realistically, looking at this point here at the lows, we are still up from those lows by a very small amount. Even from this point here when it started to sell off and reach a four dollar range about 404 we can see that we are up by 0.005 percent so things pretty flat so far again for today and for the past few weeks but in the past month we are seeing quite a lot of volatility and we have actually seen this one rocket again up to highs in the four dollar 30 range so right now the question is could nokia stop be about to explode and what could we be seeing going forwards into the future well, of course, I am not a financial advisor. This is only just my opinion. But if you do want to hear my opinion, make sure to give this video a like and, of course, subscribe to the channel because we look at Nokia and many other companies on a daily basis. So let's jump into this one. So far today, we are seeing a decrease, as I have mentioned, uh, basically from about 9.30 up until this point here. At around 10.40, we saw a roughly an hour's worth of sell-off, bringing us down by about 1.14%. Now from that low point there up until now we've picked ourselves up by a further 0.7% but as of right now it isn't enough to bring us into the green. Now again this was filmed at the early hours of the market where the session wasn't complete, I think that is worth noting but that is what we are seeing so far. But yeah again the past 5 days is seeing quite a lot of sell off action for the stock. The past month saw the share price rocket from the start of the month up until the highs up about 8% and this is actually quite significant because in the past 6 months we have seen quite a lot of action around Nokia. We saw this high point up here of $6.65 and of course even since then we are down by a further 38%. Now the share price has been falling week after week we have seen, but actually recently it did pick itself up by a rather small amount. And right now we are seeing a bit of a second hill forming, and the question for this video is can we see this one continue to pop into the future? Well, I want to take a quick moment to look at this one on the Yahoo Interactive charts, because what we can see on the Yahoo Interactive charts is the fact that the actual amount of shares traded is pretty insignificant recently. If we can get a look at the volume that we are seeing and the motion that we are seeing, starting off with the motion that we are seeing, we can actually see that the share price isn't moving by much per day. If we have a quick look at these candlesticks, we can see that in the past two or three days, they haven't really been too prevalent. This one was green and today so far is red, but again, the highs of the day quite low with that wick sticking out and the lows of the day you know not even that low we can see as well so not a lot of action going on with Nokia at the moment again for going back to the volume if we do quickly have a quick look at the shed at the at the traded volume, we can see up here at the highs, we see an extremely high volume. We saw 1 billion at this absolute high, we saw 665 million down here, 360, so you can see that volume was quite high at some points. And even throughout the sell-off, we're seeing volume of about 46 million, 50 million, 23 million, so you can see the numbers are quite high. Now in the past 2 or 3 days we are seeing volume really start to slow down with Nokia. The previous day which was uh, last Friday I do believe saw big volume of about 31 million but today so far only on about 12 million. Now again the, the session isn't over and I do expect this to step up going forwards. But the volume is not really too high at the moment. I think looking at where Nokia is, it does have potential to see a small increase in price. I think it's definitely possible that Nokia could start to see some growth soon if things do work in Nokia's favour. We have had a look at the company's fundamentals before, and in my opinion, they aren't too bad. They are actually quite decent. Nokia working with a lot of companies for strategic partnerships. We already know that they have quite a large amount of the 5G market share. I can see this company being a solid hold going forwards. But honestly, guys, here's my opinion. If you're looking to buy Nokia for the big profits, I personally wouldn't do that. I think in the next year, there is a potential to see this share price double, possibly. But again, that is not guaranteed. I think if you are looking to buy Nokia, it is more of a solid, you know, buy and hold stock long term, because I think where they are in 5G does have real world potential going forwards, and I honestly think that the company's value could increase. If we have a quick look at the financials that we have seen previously, we have had, we have had EPS beaten for quarter uh, 1 all the way to quarter 4 of 2020. If we do have a quick look at revenue figures though, we can see that revenue was decent in the quarter 4. It was better than expected. Quarter 3 actually brought a slightly worse than expected revenue. Quarter 2 again slightly worse and quarter 1 is a similar story. So again, revenue looks like it was stepping up into quarter 4. That is good. I think going into 2021, we could definitely be seeing a profitable year for Nokia. 
year. I would love to see that if we can see a profitable year with revenue up, especially if we can get revenue up uh, for all four quarters, I think we will be in an amazing position. So Nokia, I am pretty happy about, but again, I can't see this one exploding in the next two to three months. I think it is possible that we could see growth that we have seen similar to this, you know, where the share price does increase by quite a significant amount, but I don't think it's going to rocket, you know, to double the price overnight. I think this one does have that potential to double in price in the next year or two years if they do carry on on their road to the 5G, uh, you know, high market share. I think there is real potential for this company. But again, just be aware that this one isn't guaranteed to explode, but I think Nokia is in a good position with what they are doing with 5G. I think it could definitely send their share price up in the future. So tell me what you think to Nokia down below. I thought I'd just bring you a quick update looking at Nokia so far. Thank you for joining. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.